Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? Hope you all are in best of your health and fantabulous as always and as I always want you to be. Today in School for Elders, I have a very beautiful, interesting and inspiring story of Suhasini Mule. Um, I'm sure you all must have seen, if you're a Bollywood fan, Jodha Akbar, Lagan and all these movies, famous movies which are there and Suhasini Mule has played a very important role. Um, I'm sure you all might be knowing the face is very familiar and she is not only Bollywood actor, she is a Marathi and Assamese actor also and she has acted in many television serials also. I'm talking about so much of Bollywood when I say that <laughs> we should not be watching TV and movies, no matter whatever I say, but the fact is that this has actually touched our lives in many ways. So I was just reading and going through and I have seen that uh, this lady has got married at the age of 60. Yes, my dear friends, she has ditched all the Indian traditions. We talk about people who are living abroad and they have got married behind all odds. And she has not bothered that, yes, this is not my age or I should not be married or something. When she felt like she got married. So that's the message I want to give. No matter in which country you are, no matter in which place you are, no matter what you are doing, no matter <clears throat> whatever is your religion, whatever is your profession, no matter whatever is there in what odd odds are there, are there. If you feel like you want to do, you can do at any point in time, right? No matter what people say. So now she's 71 and she's enjoying her married life from past 11 years. So isn't it amazing, beautiful and interesting? So that's the message which I want to give, that you can do whatever you want to do. Age is just a number. So today I have a very beautiful wellness mantra for all of you. <clears throat> I have just seen this. It just came to my mind. The way she got married, right? She has not thought that this is not my age. I can't have kids. She wanted a life partner. That's why she got married, right? So if I want a children, someone can actually adopt, right? And they can surrogate also. So there are so many ways you can have children of your own. So the thing is, uh, seasons are changing in their own time. Have you ever uh, seen that in December, uh, people are, I mean, it's actually winters everywhere in the world, right? Mo most of the places, it's winters, right? A season changes everywhere, season gets changed. So have you seen that season will not change if December will come? Christmas will not happen on 25th of December. <laughs> Would it happen by any chance? Or uh, for Indi in India, uh, Diwali will not happen or <laughs> maybe Holi will not happen. This would never happen. Rainy season will happen, rains will happen, sun will ha sun will shine. Not today, it will shine tomorrow. Uh, moon will be there, moon will change its faces, right? It's going in circles and it never happens that uh, this is the face of moon and it has not changed. So the thing is, everything is taking their own time. Nature is taking its own time. Nature behaves not in a correct manner when human beings interfere, right? So it's only humans uh, with their thoughts, with their actions, they can create disturbances. Still, nature is following its own cycle. In the same way, the divine. We are also very part, important part of universe. So it's a divine creation. We are divine creation. Divine plan is followed, right? So you're perfect the way these seasons are perfect. You're perfect the ways these cycles are perfect. So don't run behind uh, these imperfections. Don't run behind what these uh, godmans or what these astrologers or anyone is saying or these predictions. You have inside, the power inside is in you that you can predict your future. You know what you want to do. You just need to silence everything around. You just need to stop consuming information. You just need to be with you. You know, that is the reason I keep my videos short. I don't keep it very lengthy. I just want to give you a room for thinking. After listening to one video, you can actually sit in the silence. You can do some research work. You can go through the... Uh, profile or maybe images or whatever you want to see that how the structure and whatever is this and then just sit in silence and observe what might have happened imagine 
it will definitely enhance your powers it will enhance your spiritual growth so that's my wellness mantra for today and thank you so much for listening to me and please subscribe to the channel if you are liking this channel and keep on spreading this wellness mantras and these inspiring stories to everyone and i'm highly grateful for all your love for all your affection and everything whichever you have given okay so see you bye bye take care